Welcome back trainers and today we're going to be taking a look at how OP Charm is on a Shadow Gramble. So we're going to be using just a pure Shadow team. We got Shadow Snorlax, Shadow Gramble, and Shadow Needle Queen. We're going to be using them the entire time. We do switch up the order in which we're going to be using them. But otherwise, yeah, that's what we're going to be using today is the last day of Season 9. Now, if you're trying to hit Legend, you're almost there. You finished your set. You just needed maybe a few more battles to win. Well, guess what? Tomorrow you can actually complete five more sets if you're looking to do that just to hit that legend well i shouldn't say just if you're trying to hit that legend there you go otherwise for the rest of you who have maybe hit legend already or you're not going to hit legend you don't care maybe save a set so you're going to go into season 10 with six battles ready to go right we're going to have some meta shift for that sand tomb what's going <laughs> was with them in the sand tomb it's going to be kind of like i wouldn't say poison jab or uh, should i say uh poison fang because it's actually going to be lowering the attack, not the defense. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and just get into this commentary here. I had some fun battles. Uh, I wanted to go auto wreck, but I'm going to tell you this. Uh, I did this about a week ago in Great League. And for the open one, I don't know, right when the Great League started, right? Back up again, all three leagues. So I deleted all my teams. And if you're not familiar for what auto wreck is, it's basically getting rid of all your teams and just letting the game pick your Pokemon. But here's the thing. I've got an amazing roster for Great League. Pretty much a lot of us do, right? Right. Uh, but what the game was doing was it was giving me Pokemon that have one move that were not even that could even be that could be powered up one more time. It's like I have a like almost 200 Pokemon in the Great League, maybe more. I don't know. And and you're you're giving me this nonsense. <laughs> so I'm trying to make some fun content for you. That would have been great, but it was so horrible. I, I just forget it. Forget it. All right, anyways, we're up against Machamp here. They're going to be swapping into... That looked like Registeel? Oh, per Berserker. Okay, yeah, Pure Steel. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just build up to Earth Power. I think we do shield this. Kind of putting on the pressure for them as well. Shadow Claw, yeah, they're going to gain a little bit more farm, but it's nothing crazy here. And I think it's just worth it. I suppose we could have went for another Poison uh, Fang, but, you know... Uh, I'd rather just do that, get the shield, maybe we can get it through. Anyways, bring it in the Snorlax to absorb the close combat, no problem at all. And I don't want to get off superpower because I don't really want to lower my defense or attack quite yet. Hopefully this will take them out because of their debuff, beautiful. And in comes Machamp's going to be able to farm me down. They are shieldless at this point, we have a Gramble. So we just throw in the Nido Queen to just have them use up their energy because if we get hit by a Rock Slide with the Shadow Gramble, it's still going to be hurting quite a bit. And my Shadow Gramble's IVs are the absolute worst. They have a Galarian Stun Fisk in the back. Folks, this ain't good, is it? Or is it? No, it's great. You saw what's going to happen here. We're going to build up to that close combat. Shielding up that first one because they're just not going to be able to get to another. Well, they can get to a rock site potentially, but not an earthquake to KO us. And we're taking the win with a super effective close combat from a Shadow Gramble. Ouch. Let's see what we're going to be met with this time. Leading with the Gramble, met with the Giratina. You already know this is absolutely amazing. Can we play some rock, paper, scissors? I think we might. Snorlax doesn't it's not a hard counter to Cresselia, so it's not necessarily rock, paper, scissors all the way. Uh, but it is a somewhat favorable matchup here, all right, with that Lick. They're going to be able to hit us hard with that uh, move up we just seen there. But we are really digging in with Lick and Body Slam, kind of spammy over here. So we're just going to go ahead and throw another one. Contemplating using Earthquake and Outrage. I don't know, at the same time, that would probably be horrible. Maybe like superpower outrage or something superpower earthquake you just kind of want superpowers just so good so we're not winning this matchup so we're going to go ahead and shield this well <laughs> we are winning it now right let's see can we farm down fantastic leaving us with a good amount of energy bringing in giratina which all the charge moves are just going to be useless here it's all about that lick now this is not as a comfortable matchup as a giratina origin because well origin is usually going to be running with all ghost moves as opposed to this one is going to be having that Dragon Claw, which is going to absolutely hurt you. All right, so Athena's in the room, so if you hear, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her out. All right, sweet little girl is out of the room, and let's get back into this. Got to let that go through. We need to hold on to that last shield. We kind of have to eh, fake them out here. Please use a shield. Yeah, let's go. Now, they have two shields, so they're comfortable in doing so. It's not like I'm tricking them so much. Uh, but now this last shield is, all right, they, they knew. Damn. Shoot. Okay, so um, folks, this is a crazy one. This is a great, so we shield this one up. We know we kind of need to keep this Needle Queen alive. I need to get that last shield out of you. Come on, give me that. There we go, finally. Gramble is going to get one-shotted by Flash Cannon, and the charm is resisted. 
and it takes forever to actually get to the charge moves. So what, what, what was happening? I can't believe they swapped here. So we immediately swap into our Gramble. I, this is just like, what's going on here? So we're Charm, Charm, and I'm thinking, come on, man. Let me get to the close combat. That's not happening. They have a bunch of energy. At this point, I feel like they almost have two freaking flash cannons. So there goes one, and I'm thinking, ah, you got me, dang it. But I get to an Earth Power, unbelievably making it to this thing and taking the win up against the Registeel in a seemingly lost battle. Let's go. All right, let's continue to see that shadow charm damage. Okay, we have a Drapion. This is fine. Now, part dark. This is <laughs> this is Pokemon Go for you. Oh, yeah. You're part dark. Well, you're still taking super effective damage. I don't care if you're part poison, so get over it. <laughs> um, I suspected they were going for crunches. I'm just counting there. So we shield that one up because, yeah, we do actually need to protect ourselves there. I feel like you're going to just use a shield as soon as they come in here. They're not getting too much farm. One waterfall, two, that's fine. No problem at all. Go in here with the Snorlax. Obviously don't want to come back in here with the Needle Queen because we're taking super effective damage while doing nothing. And it's taking too long to get to Earth Power. Not going to go for Super Power quite yet. Going to keep on building, making them think that I'm going for it here. Let's see if we can get that shield from them. And they're too smart for me. They said, what do you think? I'm stupid. And I said, no, I'm just trying to trick you. <laughs> so they swap into Gramble or uh, the other Charm user, uh, Gardevoir. So I bring in Needle Queen and I'm like, oh my gosh, they just gave me a win. They have to shield this though. Oh shoot, let's go. Oh, well, wait a minute. No, it doesn't matter. I was not, I was thinking of another battle. Um, yeah, it, it's all about just the Poison Fang at this point. Whatever, we just go for two of those and then we'll take the win with not very effective. Looking good. Thank goodness we had the health that we did have on it right then and there. Next battle, what are we going to see with Gramble? Cresselia. Okay, that's fine. Look at the charm. Look at the charm. Cresselia is one of the tankiest around, and just look at that, and this Gramble is just trash. It is expensive in XL2, folks, and I invested in it. Why? Because I know IVs are, they matter. They, they absolutely matter, but the Gramble XL candies, I don't know what's going on. We got an extra shipment in last year, and I'm still holding on to like 500 of those XL candies, right? I'm trying to sell those on sale. <laughs> uh, they bring in a... Sylveon, and we have another one of those great moments here with the Nido Queen that's going to come in and absolutely demolish while still holding on to the two shields. I went for the Poison Jab right at her Poison Fang right then and there because I didn't want them to get off a Psy Strike. Wanted to maintain that shield and just stay in a comfortable position here. Lower in the defense. I mean, yeah, we're looking good. Shielding up this future site, bringing in the Snorlax to farm down with the lower defense Cresselia, and they got a Giratina in the back. The Snorlax said, hey, how you doing? And he said, remember pride it doesn't do anything but hurt you it's a little joke from uh pulp fiction anyway okay <laughs> why did, what does that have to do with it because he's kind of getting his pride shut down here going up against the snorlax shadow cloud not doing really much here but the dragon claw like we discussed it's got a better play option here than the giratina origin because of the double ghost that it usually does carry for the charge moves but i guess if you go with the dragon pulse you're going to be looking safe but not many people run with that all right so what's going on here <laughs> Nice slow battle. That's why I'm keeping your ears talked to, okay? Let's just keep it going. And looking good. Snorlax. And they back out. We take the win. All righty. Let's go. Next battle, folks. What are we going to see here? Like I said, I will be switching up the lead in a bit. We met with a Dragonite. Oh, yeah. You, you'd love to see it. They're swapping into an Excadrill. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Snorlax here. So we won the lead. Swap is... Uh, this, I mean, this is amazing, of course, but look at the drill run. So it's not like, oh, Snorlax is going to dominate the the Excadrill over here. Not really. Yeah, we could have KO'd them here, but I'd rather not. Well, I mean, I was trying to get a shield. I would I would love to KO them here, but <laughs> I thought they might have shielded that. I guess they have other plans. We're just going to go for another body slam. Expecting a shield here, and they don't give me a shield. Okay, we've used one. They've used none. Coming back in here with the Dragonite. Unfortunately, not able to get out that body slam. I think I did that intentionally. I wasn't paying attention. So we got rock, paper, scissors going on here. They swap out of their Dragonite. Bring in Sylveon. We bring in Nido Queen. And there you go. There, there it is for you. This is an absolutely to the max, completely skilled full battle that I'm presenting you here with, folks. Okay. I, I'm serious. I mean, this is some top-notch gameplay. You win the lead, have a good swap, and then at the end swap, you win. Come on. I mean, tell me how much more skill is going to be taken to win that battle. Let's go. That was sarcasm to the absolute max. You know when you see those bags of chip at the store and they're like, spicy level, 
and it's like uh, going off. It has like a thermometer and it's exploding like way hot. And you buy them, they're not even hot. That was my sarcasm. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they're bringing in a jellicent and hey, how you doing again? Finally. I can't stand that thing. I mean, it's a cool Pokemon. You know, it's good and everything. I just can't stand it for the Pokemon that I personally use. So, yeah, take that. Yeah. But it's going to be a close one here. We're going to win it inevitably. I mean, it's obvious because of the lick damage. If they go Shadow Ball, it's just a waste of energy. So, it's all about that Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam. I want my Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam, Bubble Beam. <laughs> if you're old enough, you know what that was a reference to. The, uh... I don't know if I can get into trouble for saying, you know, it's so, so funny. Like everybody's so sensitive. It's to the point where they're even calling people who are protest. Oh yeah. They're protesting. Sure. That's why wherever these protests go, it just leaves in a big burnt, uh, crispy destroyed area. They're not looting. They're, what, they're, they're saying it's not looting. I don't know what they're calling it. What, what is that? <laughs> what do you call that then? When people steal things that are not theirs from a store in a mass group uh i don't know <laughs> skull looting right living in an upside down clown world anyway just a little fun uh reality check there i guess snorlax taking the win with one hp coming in and getting it taken out with charm bringing in the needle queen and they're like oh yeah you got me <laughs> oh man i wonder if this video is gonna get demonetized just for simply saying that that's not looting wow that's the world we live in trust me they're on it yeah, they're listening. Anyways, we have a double charm user. I don't like that position. We're going to go ahead and retreat. I know this is all about the Shadow Gramble charm damage, or just charm in general, I guess. Uh, but that wasn't something we wanted to stay with. Nah, -uh. So we're getting a shield right away from them when we go for body slam against the Talonflame that they swapped into after we bring in our Snorlax here. Yeah? And we're going to go for another body slam. And they're letting it go. Okay, that's what I thought. And not able to get to the other body slam while they're able to farm us down. Granville doesn't really want to see this, honestly. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and bring it in anyway. <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing there, Poke? I'm building up energy, honestly. That's what I wanted to do. They're swapping, and we're going to go ahead and bring a Needle Queen. And at this point, I'm thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Are we going to win? <laughs> we let that go through because Ancient Power, obviously not Flamethrower. And they're trying to snipe us. They got a Swamper to the back. Crap. We have to land this. If we don't land, this is over, boys and girls. And we land. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So at this point, oh, we were so close to getting off that uh, poison thing. Keep getting confused with all these things, folks. <laughs> and uh, since we bring them so low, we're simply bringing the Gramble to charm them down here. We have a charge move ready to go. But they have a shield left. They swap into... What, 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 what the hell? <laughs> all right, I'll explain what happened. They swapped into, into Talonflame and got hit by a charm that I didn't even see. And then the Swamper was just like, oh, I can't take this anymore. And just fainted. <laughs> okay, next battle here. We got a, we got Pink versus Pink. Pinky versus Pinky. Where's the brain? All right, so we're going to see a Bubble Beam. Good call on my end to let that go through. Uh, was I wasn't paying attention if I was counting or what was going on there. They're shielding up the Crunch while the charms are just absolutely demolishing a pretty dinky xl pokemon if you know, gotta be honest uh they're going for shadow ball taking us out that's okay you know if i would have known better maybe would have shield to win that but hey, it is what it is unfortunately now we're gonna have to take a bubble beam lower defense or attack sorry 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 and coming in with scrafty this is oh oh yeah oh yeah we got rid of the threat to needle queen we're gonna go superpower lowered attack that's fine swapping immediately as soon as they swap i swap it was a simultaneous swap we kind of probably both just intuitionally knew we were going to do that i'm pretty sure they back out at this point they close the wrap yes sir i don't blame them I, I, I don't blame them there's nothing wrong with that um yeah there's nothing wrong with closing the app but come on just back out instead of you know whatever do what you gotta do uh so we're met with a swamper here here you, here you go here's your charm we'll let this go through uh, the quick move's not taking us out, and, but they swap. They knew. They're like, no, 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 I'm not playing that crap. <laughs> they bring in Venusaur. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Nido Queen. Oh, I love my queen. I love my queen. I've been waiting for her moment to shine, and it is here. It is more than here. This girl has got the throne. She's got the crown. She's got the, I don't know what you call that, scepter? <laughs> anyway. And we're lowering the defense. They've got a bit of energy built up, so eek. We got two shields, so we will shield this up. Venusaur hurts everything. Um, there's very few Pokemon that, that just don't care too much about it, like uh, Skarmory or something. And we are going to see a Giratina. 
up against Snorlax. I love to see this here. This is why I kind of wanted to put Outrage. Nobody would expect it. But the thing is, Superpower and Body Slam are just too viable. Like, they're just the moves you want to constantly use. Looks like I was trying to swap there. Throwing that energy. That You know, that was dumb. Yeah, I think that's actually good. Yeah, I think that actually costs me the game. We'll see here. So we make it to the crunch, getting that last shield, which is good. Now we're going to go ahead and get this off. Now, if we would have saved that body slam, we would have been a lot. I mean, let's see. If we can lick it down. Oh, nope. Should have saved that body slam. But we do have a CMP tie here. So they probably would have been able to sneak it in anyway. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, but this one is probably going to be a loss, I think. Yeah, it's pretty close, but, you know, that Dragon Claw, they've got energy built up here. So, yeah, Giratina's holding it down. He said, not today, buddy, not today. I will not be pushed over by a normal type. I am a freaking legendary something. I don't know where the hell that thing came from, but it's uh, not nice. And it wins. Good game. On to our next opponent. We're going to be met with a Nido Queen. This is a horrible lead for us here. And I don't know what I'm talking about, how we're going to switch the lead. We're leading Gramble the entire time. What the hell? Did I, like, do another recording, forget to record or something? I guess I'm wrong. We switched the order in the back, which does pull up different Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. So they swap into a Shadow Gyarados here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Can they get off this body side? I'm expecting them to let it go here. And they do. Okay, good. We'll win the swap. I like that. Bring it in Talonflame, and uh, we're able to get to a body slam. E. That's just good. Look at the damage here. All right, we're bringing them down to about half. Yeah, I think we kind of needed to do that. Gonna go ahead and bring in Gramble because of what we saw on the front. The Nido Queen. We don't want we don't want anything to do with that crap. So we're gonna let this go while still charming. Look at the charm damage. They're getting to another charge move, which is like ugh. now here's a fun thing. Uh this is a very I remember this battle. This is the last battle. Alright, so uh if there's two shields, you don't bait. You just go straight for the hard hitting move. They're expecting you to bait and watch what happens. Cheer! Thank you for watching, trainers. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get hype for season 10, folks. Let's get it. Take care.